Uh, Jennifer Burke, it was interesting to hear the president today uh, talk about slavery and talk about the African experience in, in America. When you hear Barack Obama and his interesting, and I'm being very diplomatic here, his, quote, interesting take on American history and how we relate to a communist neighbor 90 miles from our shore, what is your reaction? You know, I'm so thankful, and my mom is watching tonight, I'm so thankful that my parents did not raise me to have a chip on my shoulder because of the color of my skin. And I'll tell you, Barack Obama grew up in a much more affluent and, uh, you know, prestigious schools than I did. Uh, and, and it's shameful. Yes, America had slaves. They actually got slaves from other black Africans in Africa. And you know what? We are the country that actually ended slavery. So all that does is continue to create a victim class. And I wasn't alive during the time of slavery. Whatever happened back then does not impact or influence or dictate my life now. I'm the one with control over my life now, but that's not the message that the left wants to send because they love to create a continued victim class because that helps give them power over those people. And I thought his speech was shameful. I've seen him get more angry over, uh, you know, if it would have been a, something he could have turned into a gun control, control measure or a racial grievance industry opportunity, there would have been anger in his voice. And not only were those 57 seconds an embarrassment because of what he said, because of, but also because of the emotionless way in which he said it.